Welcome back to the channel. We are long overdue a two pound coin hunt on the channel. We're even more long overdue a good two pound coin hunt on the channel. So let's make it happen. We've got 500 pounds, two pound coins to get into. Sealed bags from the bank. 24th of April on the bag. Let's get her open. We'll have a quick look through the book as well, remind ourselves what we're looking for. Of course, we're trying to complete the collection of all of the different two pound coins you can find in circulation. None of the Commonwealths in our book yet, Scotland, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland, all still missing. Olympic handover Beijing, Olympic handover Rio, and the Olympic centenary, all three of those missing as well. So the four Commonwealths, the three Olympics, all missing from our collection so far. Other than that, it's just a 2015 Britannia, 2015 Magna Carta to find. Hopefully we can find at least one of those today. As I said, we're long overdue a decent two pound coin hunt. So why can't it be today's one? Let's hope. <laughs> Let's do it. 250 coins, 10 coins in each bag, 25 bags. And we've got a coin in the first bag. We've got 10 coins in the first bag, but we've got a commemorative coin in the first bag is Shakespeare comedies. I must admit, I haven't checked values on these recently. It may still be a little bit over face value. When these do tend to sell on eBay, it tends to be as part of the three coin set, but I will pop it down in the keeper section for now. It might be the only thing we get down there. <laughs> no, we stay optimistic, we stay optimistic. I shouldn't say that, <laughs> tempt fate now. But come on, a nice Commonwealth or Olympic would be great. What's this gonna be? Army Centenary, World War One Army Centenary from 2016. Really, really common. Back to the bank, that'll go. It's unlikely to be the only one of those we find today. We'll pop it up there. Let's keep rolling. Of course, ooh, nice. Florence Nightingale as well from 2010. One of my more favoured designs of the two pound coin, but it is pretty common unfortunately. So that will go back to the bank too. I will double check through all of the coins afterwards. At a bit of a slower pace. I'm not going that fast through them, but we're not checking them properly like this. We should be checking both sides of the coin and the edge for any errors. Anything in particularly nice condition as well is always worth keeping hold of in my opinion, especially if it's an older date. I think I saw something there. Was that Brunel? It was indeed. There he is. Isambard Kingdom Brunel. That's Brunel's portrait. Is part of the two coin set. Um, with the Brunel's achievements. That's Brunel's portrait again though, pretty common. We'll pop that up the top. And as I said, I will check all of the edge inscriptions afterwards, but we'll just have a quick check on this one. And it does say Isambard Kingdom Brunel, and then engineer, and then his date of birth, date of death. So that's the correct edge inscription for that one. I will check them all afterwards though. I always do. Anything in this one? Nope. We keep rolling. There's something. Not very exciting though. The highest minted, highest minted two pound coin, commemorative two pound coin. The VE Day 60th year anniversary. Really, really common. No two pound hunt is complete without one of those. And then we've also got the first biometallic commemorative two pound coin, 1999 Rugby World Cup. Again though, pretty common. Back to the bank, that will go. They do do a very nice holographic version of that two pound coin. I'd love to get my hands on one of those. It's something I am still missing from the collection. There's a big long list of things I'm still missing from the collection because of course, as we well know, coin collecting is a massive hobby. 
so many facets, so many avenues. There's the other Brunel, Brunel's Achievements. Do a quick edge inscription check on that one as well. Many irons in the fire. So many irons in the fire. That's correct. Again, that will go back to the bank. Oh, there's something, it's got two pounds on the bottom. It's a 2012. It can only be one of two things. One of them's pretty common. <laughs> That's Charles Dickens. And the other thing it could be is the Olympic handover. Come on. No. <laughs> of course, it's Charles Dickens. Another pretty common one. Back to the bank. That will go as well. I hope I haven't cursed myself at the beginning like I thought I may have. We've only, still only got Shakespeare comedies in the keeper section so far. Oh, Lord Kitchener, which is always a little bit exciting to find because there are those very, very scarce mule coins out and about. What you're looking for on this coin is when you flip it over, if it doesn't say two pounds at the bottom, you're onto a big, big winner. Ah, unlucky. The search continues. Only a handful or so are known of, of those error coins, and they're very, very uh, valuable because of that. There's another Rugby World Cup. Nothing else there. So yeah, if you've got Lord Kitchener's sat in your piggy bank or in your coin collection, do check them. Oh, we've got another chance, another chance. Could it be? You've got to believe, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's correct. Two pounds at the bottom. One has been found on YouTube before by Bow Selectors Coins. And as I say, only a handful are even known to exist. There must be more out there. One of you may have one. Oh, nice. One of you may have one sat at home, so do check them. We don't see this very often. Bailiwick of Jersey. Of course, one of the Channel Islands. So territory, British territory, not an actual UK coin. But that's a lovely little find. 1998. You can see the latent two pound there in the center. And I think these symbols are, are they the different parishes of Jersey? I think that might be right. Very cool little find. Of course, I'll put value up in the top right corner. What a juicy little find. We don't find many Territory two pound coins, so I'm very, very happy with that. Lovely stuff. We did not jinx ourselves. <laughs> Shakespeare Comedies has a friend. And it's a good one. I think we may have only found probably four or five Territory Two Pound coins in all the years of doing these hunts. Yeah, they do not pop up very often. Nothing there. And it's not in bad condition either for a, what, a 26 year old coin. 25, 26 year old coin, that's pretty good. Nothing there. We keep on rolling. That'll be something. What is it? It's another Shakespeare, but Shakespeare histories this time. Not a keeper. Definitely the most common of the three Shakespeare coins. So that'll go back to the bank. I have had thousands of those through my hands. <laughs> very, very common. And is that another jersey coming up? That's a DNA double helix. It is one of my more favoured designs. Again, very intricate, very cool. Of course, it's got a cool edge inscription as well. Deoxyribonucleic acid. That's what DNA stands for. But that's pretty common, so go back to the bank. I do keep them if I can find them in nice condition, but that's not so common now being 21 years old. That's another jersey. It's probably going to be another 1998, but you never know. It is. <laughs> Two of the same coin. Not bad at all. I'm not going to complain about that. Lovely stuff. We'll take that. 
pop it in the keeper section. Any more? <laughs> a different date would be nice, but I'll be honest, guys, off the top of my head, I'm not sure how many different dates of that Jersey two pound coin even exist. I'm sure somebody knowledgeable will let us know in the comments if I do forget to research that and put it on the text on the screen. If I've let you down, check in the comments, somebody will definitely know. There's an abolition of the slave trade, 200 year anniversary. It almost looks like a bit of a strike through there. Between the eight and the zero, it looks like a, a kind of a dent in the coin. But it has a typical look of when a bit of debris has been between the coin and the die as, it, as it's been struck. I'll have to have a closer look at that one. It may just be damaged, but it doesn't look it to me. It's not going to add massive amounts of value to the coin, especially when on the other side, the queen has a lot of scratches on her face there, but it's worth having a little look into just to see if that is a strike through. So we'll pop it down to the bottom for now. One to look into for sure. Oh, here we go. I haven't seen that yet today. It's the Act of Union, 300 years of the union between the Scottish and the English, depicted by the thistle there and the rose. And this is another coin where you've got to check for the error. This time it's a rotation error. So just make sure the queen is face up when you roll the coin round with two up in this quadrant. Another pretty common one, so back to the bank it will go, but it's nice to always have a shot to find in those error coins. So whenever you find one of these coins that has a known error, just that little bit of excitement, it could be one. I've never found one of those Act of Union rotations i know they have been found they definitely exist one day we'll find one that's the mentality anyway <laughs> whether we actually ever, ever will especially because as i do say quite repeatedly it's getting more and more difficult to find good coins these days there's another brunel's portrait And who knows if we see the end of the two pound coin sometime soon. They're not releasing any for circulation, that's for sure. I mean, they say that the new definitive two pound coin from last year will be circulated, but will it? We shall have to see. I think personally, the fate of the bimetallic two pound coin has been sealed by the amount of fakes that are out there. There's another abolition of the slave trade there. Um, and just to give you an idea of how many fakes are out there, this is just some of the ones I've got. Sat next to the desk. These are all ones that have been found in coin hunts. And yet, these are all definite fakes. <laughs> so yeah, my prediction is that the end of the two pound coin, at least in its current form is probably near. Hopefully I'm wrong, of course, that's not what I want. <laughs> but at this point, we've not seen any minute for circulation in, what, eight years? So yeah, will that change? I doubt it. All right, last bag. Oh, Charles Dickens, I thought that was a Commonwealth. <laughs> Got my hopes up then for a second, now I'm sad. Here we go, there's 2001 Marconi's wireless transatlantic transmissions. And then I just saw the very edge of this next coin. It does look a little bit like where it says Commonwealth Games on the Commonwealths, but it's not. It's Charles Dickens. I got my hopes up then. <laughs> It's another find though, so we'll pop it up the top. Charles Dickens and one more coin. Saving the best for last. No, just the technologies. Finds of the day, gotta be that double of the Bailiwick of Jersey. Smash the thumbs up for those two little beauties. We don't see them too often. Of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed, get my words out. And I'll see you all soon for some more coiny goodness. Take care, all the best.